Hi guys, welcome to this review about the Soto Infrared Thermometer. It is a gun thermometer. You can use it to measure the temperature on a lot of things, liquids, metal, things outside, pool, inside the home, uh, AC and so on and so on. It is pretty much standard, but it is a little bit upscale compared to other products. It has this laser and it has the uh, UV light, which I will show you later on. I will show you uh, how to use this device and how accurate it is about. I mean, this thing is about uh, $30. It is a little bit more expensive than similar devices but it has more information it has more capabilities so if you like uh, really a little bit an advanced device this could be the thing for you there's not much on the package you can see that's the back it doesn't show a lot so i'm showing you the instruction manual a little bit if you don't like that you can fast forward Hope we can focus on that. Here a little bit of information, safety. I mean, it is a laser product. Uh, it con contains a laser. You have to be really careful here about measurement methods. Multi alarm mode. That's something which can automatically be done. Of course, you can do this with every other thermometer, which can, like infrared thermometer, where you can check the temperature of a wall and calculate if there's a risk for mildew but here it's a little bit easier you can do this automatically that's a nice thing then temperature difference alarm mode so we can set an alarm then you have a k type thermocouple temperature measurement that that's basically uh, like a sensor which you attach this cable and you can measure uh, anything uh, without the infrared so sometimes you need a different method and that could be helpful this is also something which does not uh, which uh, doesn't have every of this gun thermometer here you can see how to proceed you can also change the emissivity for this instrument I will show you that later on here how to yeah how to do that how to use laser how to use the UV light and then that's really important here we have something about the proportion between the distance of the object and the size of the or the diameter of the object so we have a, a 12 to 1 ratio so the uh, object is actually uh, which is being measured is one twelfth of the distance uh, from the object. So if you have a distance to the object like 12 feet, so the diameter of the object will be one foot. So you have to be careful with that. If you have like a smaller diameter, if you want to measure really precise, then you have to go uh, like closer. So you cannot adjust this. This is fixed 12 to 1 and it's pretty much the same with all these devices. I haven't seen much of a difference with that. But the good thing is we get a laser. The laser will be projected or can be projected to a wall or to anything. I mean it won't work on water probably but it will work on almost anything. And you will see the diameter visually so that's a good thing so with old devices something like this which most people have or had this is really simple has one button and there's no projection light you so you have actually no idea where you are pointing to or what's the size of the diameter which has is uh, measured and yeah there are a lot of other disadvantages or advantages of this device so it's way advanced to something old i mean that was not bad it has been working but uh, usually you have to be pretty close here you can 
take the measurements from really further away and you are more secure that measurements will be accurate and you can even adjust the um, like according to the material so here we come to this part that's the emissivity and here we have a listing of all the emissivity values which you can adjust and set on this thermometer I will show you that later on so uh, usually most of the materials are good with about 0 0.95 emissivity but some like especially really special metals uh, ha you have to adjust a pretty low emissivity value to get a uh, accurate reading so with this old style uh, infrared thermometer you don't have this adjustment so that's definitely a positive thing so here we have all the emissivity values hope you can see that and yeah battery replacement technical parameters if you're interested into that technic yeah continuation of the technical parameters so I'm finished with that so um, here uh, for the battery the, here's the battery compartment you can open it easily from here the battery was already inside you just have to attach the battery to this battery holder make sure that when you close it that you don't break the cable but there's enough room for that so it shouldn't be a problem so we don't have a lot of buttons we have the one here which triggers the measurement and we have a mode button and we have an up and down button uh, up and down and this also works for laser activation and UV light activation so we can see that laser activation which also activates the display and when we activate the laser hope you can see that there's a warning sign here so you know uh, that when you have activated this if you push here it will, will not only take the measurement it will also emit a laser to wherever you point to so we sure make sure it is not a person so this is really dangerous this is not something for children to play around and make some laser gun toy uh, like plays or so this is just an adult product be careful when you use that not to use on like pets or I mean animals anyway not on any human being or something like that it can really hurt your eyes permanently and also don't shoot into a mirror because it comes back and can be really dangerous and yeah here we can see that I can show you that so that's pretty easy let's turn here you can see the laser and now I will put the trigger and you can see the light here and same time it will take the measurements so what we see we have this emissivity value or what's that yeah dif difficult word uh, of one, 0 0.95 which is default value which we have here and then the infrared uh, temperature value which it has been reading is 25.7 degrees celsius if you want fahrenheit press two seconds here you get to fahrenheit so that's 78.3 we have also a temperature reading on this device for whatever reason maybe it can help 79.5 so of course I'm holding that it's a little bit warmer we have a relative humidity of 50% and hence we have uh, like a, this is the dew point 59.0 degrees Fahrenheit means if it gets to this temp down to this temperature it will produce like uh, humidity or yeah if you point this to a wall that's really helpful because you can then determine at what temperature it would produce uh, like not only humidity it would produce like really a wet wall and that can turn into mildew and so that's really helpful to check walls for risk to for mildew so as you can see it has an automatic turn off which is good but of course sometimes yeah you have to reactivate that here's some helpful information about the 12 point 
one uh, thing rating so you can see that also it shows what uh, temperature range you can it, it can be used for hope it will focus it is for between minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 800 degrees Celsius which is I uh, think about 58 degrees Fahrenheit minus and 1400 something Fahrenheit plus so here the thing regarding the diameter but it's not so important as long as you can use the laser the laser is really really helpful it can yeah I mean you can really easy much easier use that here so some information also on the other side especially regarding the laser and here we have this K mode uh, thermometer I mean this sensor I will show you that yeah maybe you can do that now so we have to attach that here so you can see there's a larger and a smaller uh, pin so the larger goes into the minus and we have here the end hope you can focus on that as well so you can see about what this is it's a little bit difficult so that's the that's just a small metal part yeah once it has been focusing for a short time it's really difficult so anyway um yeah so you can use this for i guess liquids it hasn't there was nothing in the instruction if this how good this is protection protected against uh, like water liquid or so but I think you can really use that into any kind of liquid if you like or I mean you can if it's clean you can take it in your mouth and to use it as a fever thermometer and I've been using that uh, and it measured perfectly close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit I mean I can do that it takes some time to make the reading so you have to go to the K mode yeah here you see that here's the icon we go to that and then we also have to use this trigger and it will but it, it then will show I think that's the can't remember which was the reading actually probably it's the one on top yeah it must be the one on top so the one below is still the one with the laser here we have a little bit uh, mirroring surf surface so it has a little bit problems here there are much better situations than this this is probably one of the worst situations which you can have it's just for showing I've been trying around a lot now with the thing about for an hour or so and it was usually I would say usually pretty accurate not always it has some exemptions uh, I mean when you click usually you see t t uh, 78 so, so you can do this a lot of times and every now and then it has this crazy reading so when you take the readings don't just take it once so do it a couple of times and then you will see uh, what the real reading is so now it is at 91 on my finger if I would take it into my mouse it would be close to 100 of course we can take it away and probably it will, will uh, trigger a warning and say yeah there's no uh, sensor attached here so we have to go to another mode when we go to this mode where we can only see this em uh, emissivity then we can adjust it so 0 0.95 that's the default value we can go up to 100 i think means 0 point, uh, 1.00 we can go down i mean we can keep pushing and then it goes further faster down and it goes down to 0 0.1 just the lowest value for some really heavy metal things and as you can see there's really a difference when we use this emissivity value it brings up different readings so usually not much but you can really have troubles measuring anything if you have the wrong emissivity so it, as long as you're not measuring crazy stuff uh, then I would leave it on 0 0.95 that's my recommendation 
which is usually good for most of the objects because we can really have wrong readings uh, with the wrong emissivity value so I'll leave it like this yeah here we have the different modes but nothing really special I would leave it on the default thing for most of the time I'm not showing you how to set the alarm I've no, I haven't been using that but it shouldn't be a real problem I'm showing you some real world examples I mean here we have the laser again hope you can see that now we turn the laser off and we take the measurement and here you can see there's nothing so we turn it on we can see clearly the laser it's a little bit hard to see here but there is a radius like there's that there's a circle and the circle shows the 12 to 1 diameter so I'm taking the camera out and I will show you some samples of that so you can see um, yeah so I've been turning off the light here we have the laser gun or tem temperature gun maybe um, hold on a second yeah the laser is on that should work okay so I hope you can see that now so the display and watch to the AC there's a I mean I'm pointing a little bit to the side now we can see the circle with the center and from left to right to the uh, of the circle that's the diameter of what it's measuring so I'm pointing to the wall and you see 77 which is the pretty much the room temperature and if I go down to the AC you can see it's much colder it's 60 that's a really nice thing to to check how cold temperature is coming out of the AC go down again 77 so that's really a nice thing to uh, check everywhere and it is even you can hold the trigger and it will continuously measure uh, the temperature on the wall or wherever you are pointing to a really nice device usually really good working and what we have is also this um, like ultra ultraviolet I will turn uh, off the light a little bit or make it even darker so you can see that so here I found a towel here we have the temperature gun and when I turn on the UV light you can see there's a really strong UV light you can even release the trigger and you can do whatever you want to do with UV light I mean there's uh, a lot of things not only check the AC for leaks you can use it on even to check your dollar bills or whatsoever really uh, nice thing and you can see it, it is a really strong UV light really nice uh, additional thing which a lot of these temperature guns do not have that's a uh, yeah really cool thing here you can see the circle even better I mean that really helps I go a little bit further away I'm now pointing to a door from about what's that 10 10 feet or something like that and you can see the circle yeah we have to be careful that nobody's coming in so yeah or at the wall so that's really really helpful I mean of course we cannot consider this a professional device it's not possible for 30 or 40 dollars or something like that it is uh, but it, it is definitely like an advanced uh, like end user thing something which you can uh, which is really useful at home if you are a home worker if you want to check different things I mean you can even go and check your pool temperature if you don't have this automatically checked or you can check on your grill food there's so many many things I mean I remember I have been checking a lot of things with this old thermometer but the only thing was I had to go always super close and sometimes it was really inaccurate because it was just set to probably 0 0.95 uh, emissivity value and here you can adapt to the right value and you can point 
to the area which you want to really measure and it gives you this additional uh, like sensor which you can use I mean even for yeah as a fever thermometer or maybe food thermometer I mean it's a little bit difficult to clean but it's pretty sturdy here um, yeah I mean there are a lot of um, situations where you can use that and I have to tell you, it actually exceeds my expectations. It's it's really nice. I didn't think that it is so useful, especially with this laser circle. This helps a lot. I mean, compared to these old style things, it's a huge leap. It's a huge advantage. And I will definitely keep it. Nothing to complain about that maybe every tenth measurement is totally off i mean totally uh yeah but you will see that when you do a couple of readings and you will find out apart from that really good so that's it for now i hope uh i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time